Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Open TTD Let's Play. Now, I have just seen all the comments starting to come in from Episode 1, so I'm taking the opportunity now to reply to a couple of things. First things first, the confusion about the catchment area at Gainsborough Mines. I got confused in the episode myself, and what it is, is that when you put two or more spread stations and uh, it does make a square but only for what things accept not what they provide here we're getting coal mines so it's provisions not accept what you could in theory do is use the same technique to straddle two towns and be able to maybe accept goods even though you can't which we'll maybe look at later so there's a clarification for you um, it's for what is accepted not for what is produced which is why the two at the side didn't uh, capture until I put the extra pla um, the extra stations in. Another thing is is that uh, at least one unlucky person has lost Whole Beach Factory. It closed. So I think this episode I'm going to learn from their misfortune and I'm going to start using that factory in today's episode to make sure that it doesn't close down. All you need to do is supply it with a little bit of something and I think that really does decrease the likelihood of it closing down. If it does close down you'll have to either start again or you'll have to fund a new factory right there. And one final little thing is the highway challenge in Scotland. A highway means roads, not aeroplanes. You can't cheat with that. A highway means roads. So, like I said, we're going to get on with this factory challenge. But before we start the beginning of that factory challenge, I just want to see how things are getting on here. And this operating profit graph, I did realise after the episode that the reason why it looks so terrible is because of that first year and the weird numbers in this map. Um... I think once we get through down a foot, couple of years, it'll be fine. Um, we did hit minus 1.1k, I think, at the very first um, point down here. But then it has come up. We are in the positives, and you can probably see that here. Yes, 2k so far this year. We're in February. We've made 2k. So what we got in the bank? 3,000. Have we got any loan to spend? Yes, we've got plenty of loan we can spend. I think what we'll do is we'll get um, a route going between the factory and um, something first and then we'll come back and see if we can profit more on our coal route so this this route for the factory wherever the factory's gone where's the factory gone it's not far from Gainsborough if you head down this way there's Boston this way a bit there there's the whole beach factory so normally I would I would normally jump in with some trains here. However, that train is relatively unreliable and I don't want to spend a lot of money on track and stuff. It's quite expensive. Um, oh, also one other comment. Um, a couple of people have said, oh yeah, well this is quite difficult because you've upped the difficulty and breakdowns uh, mean that the vehicles don't make as much money so it makes it harder to turn breakdowns off. No, don't turn breakdowns off. You're removing some of the challenge from the game. There's no point in up in the difficulty to medium, right? Work, okay, maybe you might want to mute the sounds on that if you don't like the noises of the breakdowns, but the breakdowns are part of this challenge. If you're playing along, keep breakdowns on because it's part of the challenge. Otherwise, you're making it easier for you. Sorry, I just hit the mic. You're making it easier for you and not for other people. Uh, right then, let's get... Um, let's get that in there. Whole Beach West. Maybe rename that in the future. You know what? I put I put that in, and I've just assumed that I'm just going to be going to pick something up from somewhere. Haven't even thought about it yet. So uh, the factory <laughs> accepts grain, livestock, and steel. Now steel is not a primary industry, so we'd have to have another leg to provide iron ore to the steel mill, and the steel mill to the. Don't want to mess around with that much yet. We'll do it later. Um, and. So we're looking at livestock or grain, which is a farm. I've just seen there is a farm down here. Is that what we got in the local area? Let's have a look. So, world map, turn off town names because it's an absolute nightmare. Switch to industry mode. That's really good. And disable all, and then we just want to turn farms on. There's 200 farms. The only thing is I'm not sure that... Oh, yeah, the little, little tiny crosshairs kind of things they're not crosshairs they're kind of like screen crosses marker things our factory's right in the middle there 
There is a farm just up here, and there is a, just a farm there. I don't want to go far at first. So we've got a farm here. There's the factory, and we've got a farm here. This one's closer. And I think we've got a good chance of getting a road through there without needing to go through farmland. So what we'll do is we'll build a road through that bit. Okay, yeah, we need to take that loan out first. There we go. So back to roads, multi-tool. Let's get that road in there. And what we'll probably do is actually is we'll go through Spalding. There's no reason why not to. And let's just give ourselves a tiny little loop. Except nothing supplies. Supplies nothing. Oh, yeah. I don't think it will... Oh, that's a bus. There we go. <laughs> we don't want a bus stop. Oh, God, that would have been terrible if I'd have put bus stops both ends. And let's just do that for now. Okay, and Spalding, there's the factory. I did put a bus stop here. It's going to cost a little bit of money to remove it, but I will remove it. So we're coming in from... See, I put it down without even thinking about what I was putting down or why I was putting it down. This this um, Let's Play definitely requires some thinking rather than just plonking stuff. Okay. So what I'm really hoping with all of these vehicles is A, for the factory not to close, and B, to get a good enough money base to know that our company is going to just keep keep getting profit and we're not going to have to worry about putting a train line down and running out of money halfway down a train line or something along those lines so we'll put a depot there and we'll be generous and put one at the other end as well and then i'm i'm almost certain this road vehicle yeah refit to, refit to grain we can't move the livestock yet but we can move the grain. So, we want a full load here and then offload at the other end there. Now, what I'm going to do is just remove that full load order to begin with. And the reason for that is, is that I want something delivered here as soon as possible. I do not want this factory to close down. If this factory closes down whilst this truck's on the way, I don't know what I'll do. I have, I have no idea. Um, we'll have more than one. Ooh, how much are they? Six grand. We'll have two. A grand massive total of two. And then what we'll do is we'll set them on their way. And just unpause the game. F1, if you ever want to use that. And then that second truck, I'm just going to hold it back a second. Because I've got shared orders on these guys. And if you don't know about shared orders, go find out about shared orders. So that first one's already on its way. That one's probably empty. So what we'll do is we'll then turn it around, skip its order back to Donington West, set that one going, so now there'll be still nothing waiting. Still nothing waiting? I, oh, I, one truck has to complete a full journey, that's it. So what we'll do is we'll send that one back, we'll set that to full load, and then turn it around. No, not centre depot. Turn it around. There we go. Right. So the first truck is going all the way there, empty, to complete a journey. As soon as that one's completed a journey, we'll see things starting to stack up at Donington West. Um, because it will register that as a, a legitimate journey. If you're not sure whether anything's um, been supplied there, look at the ratings. Um, if there's stuff being supplied, there'll be a rating. So we'll leave that on the screen there. We'll see this guy's on their way. It's now March. Let's look at the bank balance, see what we're looking at this year. Minus 21, but that includes construction costs of 20,000. That'll probably be the roads. And new vehicles of 12. That's the two vehicles that I bought. So we've spent 32,000 and we're only minus 22. So we've made 10 grand Prof operating profit right so just so that road vehicle 22 isn't going to take an eternity i am going to do a little bit of fast forwarding okay we'll fast forward the game keep it going a little bit i want this journey 
in and I want this factory being serviced. So as soon as this vehicle goes here, in theory we should start receiving stuff. Why is there no stuff? <gasps> I didn't refit them! Ah! By default these are... Um, by default these ones are coal. Refit, grain, refit, check, tons of grain, go. Oh my goodness. Might not have to have waited for that first vehicle. Yep, yeah, there we go. There's the grain. Ah, oh, I always fall for that. I always forget and fall for that. Okay, we'll send you to depot. We'll come back over here soon. Hopefully, we'll send that one. Oh, well, it's 65% it's loaded, so that's good. Right, uh, vehicles. Now, we're going to use a group, I think. Are we going to use a group? Let's yeah, let's start a group. We'll create a new group, and we will call it Coal. Coal. Let's have a quick look. See how these vehicles are getting on. Um. Yep, turning a profit. So, uh, oh, hang on a minute. There we go. Um. So we've got a coal group. What I'm going to do is we'll get all on group vehicles. And we'll drop them into the coal group, and that way, if we have more mines that we're going to be getting coal from, or going to that power station, then we can do stuff with them as a group together, as a massive group. Even though these guys are all got shared orders, um, that'll be different soon. We don't want 21 and 22. 22 is stopped, so we can refit to grain. Did that not cost? I think I just misclicked. There we go. Right. And of course we want to put all of our bank loan back in the bank account <laughs> because having all that loan out will, um, well, it will cause problems. Right. Let's see how things are going over at Gainsborough Mines. Uh, 431 tonnes of coal. We've got um, seven ton to Seneth North, which I believe is this one, which is an incorrectly named power station thing. We'll leave it though. So we've got seven tons that are going there, and a 424 tons that can go anywhere. Brilliant. So in theory, I could up the number of coal vehicles here, and. It depends whether they're all making a good profit. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick look at this screen again. Not that one. Oh, I need to finish that. We'll do that next. So we're looking just at 1926. We're going to ignore construction and new vehicles. We're going to just look at road vehicle running cost versus road vehicle income. And just see what we're looking at. So overall, road vehicles cost us just over seven grand. And we got in 22 grand, so a 14 grand profit, roughly halfway through the year. In a in a medium difficulty game like this, and this early on, that's quite good. And I don't know how many of those we've got, but I really do feel like we could add some more. But I don't want to overspend just yet. So what we'll do is we'll let the game continue at a normal pace for now. And we'll sort out this. So let's see if we can. Um, make somebody that looks a little bit like me. So I am roughly male. I'm from Europe. I don't have a moustache. I don't have glasses. I've never had glasses. Sunglasses only. Let's see what hair have we got. So we've got various styles. I think potentially that is the closest we're going to get. There's no kind of whatever this I've got in there. Eyebrows. I do have eyebrows. Uh, eye colour. Blue. Oh, that looks terrible. Glasses. No. What? Oh, glasses set to yes. Uh, nose. I do have a nose. Uh, that one's probably fine. Lips. I have lips as well. Let, let's go with those ones. Oh, this is not looking like me at all. That's not my chin. That's not my chin. That's not my... That, that's probably close. Jacket. I like to wear a jacket. Collar. 
let's let's not get too funky. Nice plain white and a blue tie, please. That looks nothing like me, but never mind. Uh, I tried to a point. Color schemes orange. You know what? We're going to switch that up. Primary color scheme, red. Red. We might switch around some different bits and bobs. I've always liked lead. Uh, lead? <laughs> I like lead. It was great. Um, no, uh, red. Um, Master Elish. There we go. Now, please, please do name your company and your manager name, if you're playing along, something similar to what your name is on social media or Discord. Because when, when you contact me and you tell me about your save and you give me your save and I look at your save and I go in the save and I was like, who saves this? I have no idea because it's completely different to your name. Try and give something that is going to make it easy. Like for Master Hellish, Master Hellish Transport. Brilliant. For Wizard Brandon, Brandon Transport or Wizard Inc or something. Just something that relates the two nicely. I just said Brandon because I looked up at um, the Discord list. Um, list? Sorry, keyboard. Discord stuff and... There it is. So that's manager name, company name. Hellish Inc. Right, so that's all that bit sorted out. We uh, have a company value of 15 grand. That's brilliant. 16 now. Um, and we've got 22 road vehicles, some of which have broken down, but that's fine. And how many tons of... Oh, right, okay. So the amount of coal at this place... Is going up we're not we've not got enough vehicles to service that so if I want to put more vehicles on I know that there's there's going to be the supply there is the demand for more vehicles uh, looking at the profits I don't want to look in that oh hang on wait I can look at the can I look at the grouped profits of I can oh that's another reason to use groups so all road vehicles it gives you the profits current usage it says 40 40 percent i don't know i think that's like how much is loaded out of everything but i'm guessing with my trucks you're going to have at least half of them on their way back empty so current usage only ever maximum in this situation is going to be 50 percent. so i'm happy with 40 but if we go to coal this is telling us the profit this year and last and it's good so we've got demand, we're making profit, we're going to get some loan out, borrow the maximum loan, we're going to throw some more vehicles down, we're going to clone that one, and see that's difficult now, I mean, should we do, we're going to get another 10, another 10, send them out, on their way, jobs are good and fantastic, brilliant. Uh, right, uh, let's just quickly... Knit back down to... Well, there's Lincoln. Ah, oh, here we go. Whole Beach Factory. So, Whole Beach West... See, we're not producing goods yet, but we... I think we are delivering... We are delivering stuff. We must be delivering stuff. And they're making a profit. Okay. So, now... The next... Oh, hang on. Quick. Put the money back in the bank. Repay the loan. Um, I think at the minute as well, every time I do that, take money out the bank and repay it, I'm actually got less. No, I have got more loan. Yeah, I, I keep taking more and more loan. Ignore me. I thought I was doing better than I was. Um, so what we're looking at now is we'll be looking at somehow about putting goods in somewhere. And really, we either need to spread station across two towns... Or we just need to find a big town. So let's get roadway construction. Now Scunthorpe is big enough for mail. Gainsborough is big enough for mail. Lincoln's big enough for mail. Sleaford. What's the Peterborough is one of the biggest round here, I think. There's Peterborough. But that is only just I've got a feeling like if I do a spread station across that town. I'm going to be able to have more than just mail. So, let's see what the situation is. If we call that half the town there, and then that half the town there. Okay, so we put one in there. and that, This is just an experiment, by the way, folks. I have no idea if this is going to work. End of the year. Okay, so last year we were down uh, 68,000. 
And we've got the passenger ferry coming out. Uh, but, new road vehicle, the flatbed truck. Cool. Okay, we'll have to take a look at that sometime soon. And in the um, aftermath of the news, I accidentally placed an unconnected station. So I hold, hold control while I'm doing that. Connect up to Peterborough. And Peterborough only accepts mail still. I don't think if I include those two, it's going to make much difference. Um, Kings Lynn's quite a big town. It's 919. I don't know if there's any requirements for... Actually, 919 is a lot bigger than 689. Hang on a minute. I've looked into it a little bit, and I'm using the... Um, What's this? The land area information tool. If you click on buildings and so forth, it tells you what uh, the cargo is accepted. So these houses are all passengers and so forth. It's not the amount of houses you've got in the catchment or anything like that. It's to do what cargo, cargo is accepted for those things that are in the catchment zone. But if I click on this, yeah, this building here, shops and offices, it has a goods, three of eight goods cargo accepted and I'm thinking three of eight what does that mean surely if I put something over that area that will then supply goods no it, it doesn't work like that uh, if I I mean that Peterborough station um, does overlap with that um, with that square the catchment area is definitely there all it accepts is mail well I thought well surely the biggest town biggest city on the entire map that must accept goods. You put it over, and it does. So let's have a look at the corner here. And if we have a look, we've got all these um, buildings around the edge here. But then we've got these shops and offices, just like in Peterborough. And that one says 3 of 8. That one says 3 of 8. And that one says 3 of 8. And again, all around the edge, they are just either road or passengers and mail. So if we get one here in London, put it right in the middle, it says goods. But if we do it to the catchment area only just overlaps one of those shops and offices it still says mail if we overlap a second one it still says mail if you overlap the third it then says goods so where it says three of eight eight is the minimum that is required to qualify and it provides three so that's how the, i've never known how that's worked and we found out i found out here i tried to look in the wiki couldn't find anything but that's what that means. Cargo accepted, four of eight. You need at least eight to be able to qualify for passengers, eight to qualify for mail, and eight to qualify for goods. So what we need is a town with three of them together. So I'm going to have a look round, see if there's anything nearby. If there isn't, we're going to figure something out. Okay, so after much searching around, I think Leicester is going to be our only option. Okay, now if you hover over it just like this, you don't get goods you need a bigger station spread in order to be able to get the goods because you've got three goods there three goods there and two goods there which is just enough and it's the closest possible place so we're going to do it we're going to put one here and then we'll put another one there so there we go, mail and mail, put them together, they accept goods. Right, so we've got somewhere that accepts goods. And Leicester is quite a distance away from Peterborough. And the whole beach, oh, we don't need Peterborough now actually, we're going to get rid of that. Get rid of that. Peterborough was a failed experiment. There we go. Um, so yeah, whole beach factory, it's quite a distance away. But it's the best. It's the best I can find. If you can find better, please do pop it down in the comments and let me know. But let's take out all the loan we can. We've got 100,000 to build this road. And I'm hoping that next episode we can start on railways. But uh, let's see. So if we come out here uh, and probably go through Oakham and Stamford. So we go Stamford to about there. I 
at the minute with roads i don't mind going through places roads are also a lot easier to build and not worry about going up and down at the m <laughs> he says just as we have a problem i mean you can't remove road i can remove road i i can and i will there we go need a little wiggle so we come out of leicester go through oakham go through Stanford, and then that should get us pretty close from Stanford, we can come out probably go through Market Deep in as well there we go and I think we could probably then just link up down here it's going to be a much longer bus route than what I wanted to do and we've only got 38,000 but let's um, let's put down one depot there and do we need more than yeah we do need more than two so if we put let's zoom out a little bit so we've got Leicester over here the whole beach factory there if we put one somewhere around this coal mine and then the other one roughly there okay so we've got a couple of depots on route as well let's get at least one vehicle going and it's this brand new one so the brand new vehicle is going to be not great it's at 57 percent reliability it's 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 relatively costly but i'm hoping and it is a big hope that it's actually going to deliver and get us some good money so there we go we're just going to go to leicester which, by the way, if one of these three buildings gets removed by Leicester for some reason, maybe redevelopment, the whole plan's gone to pot. So that's not my fault. Uh, I'm going to refit to... I don't need it to refit to goods because that's the default for that truck. Good job I checked, though, for a change. And send it on its way. Right. Let's get back to the factory. Unpause the game and we'll see how things go. We've got 29 grand. I'll pop that back in the bank for now. Um, so our first one is coming. We've got 15 crates of goods a month being uh, being created, 0% transported. We're now getting that there. I'm thinking we might be good. I mean, are these vehicles making money? Yep, they're making pretty good money, these grain trucks. So... We'll clone a grain truck. We've got enough money without taking a loan out. And I'm just going to do... I might do groupings in between episodes for that. I just really wanted all those coal ones together. So we're bringing more and more grain through. We're going to have to wait until another grain delivery to see about this truck. Yeah, we are. But we've got two grain deliveries on the way. And nearly enough money for another one. I think we should really have f five grain trucks on the go here that seems like a good number to have and what we'll do is instead of taking out more loan to do it we'll use the income so there we go that is one two three four trucks now all lorries if you want to call them lorries in open ttd they tend to be called trucks and that's why i call them trucks if i saw it in real life i'd probably call it a lorry um i i, I love the way we go through spalding um, I was in Spalding recently um, to um, to deliver these trucks. I mean, the local residents in Spalding must really be complaining about these trucks thundering through the town all the time. But money is doing good. I like the I like the fact that we've had to put I, uh, thought into how things are going, and it's only 1927 still. Um, Okay, so we've got a medium rating for that at the minute. That's fine. We'll clone that vehicle, send it out. That's five grain trucks now. And it looks like we're just about to have our first delivery of grain that should set road vehicle 33 on its first journey. So I'm just going to fast forward for a minute. See how we go. Get in there. Come on. Let's get... Oh, it broke down. Of course it breaks down. That's what it's going to do just before it goes in. And then we'll see how how well Road Vehicle 33 handles it. So it should pick up. Should pick up. Why, why aren't you picking that up? Capacity wood. What? 
I am almost certain I checked the refit for that. Okay, hang on a minute. Select goods. Pass. No idea. It says 14 crates of goods now. Not a clue. Not a clue what actually happened there. Okay, so now we're going to get a delivery of grain. There is our goods. We've got 92% of goods apparently out of one lot of grain. There's some more grain and it's on its way. Finally. Okay. So we've got this truck here. Uh, its reliability is 59%. It's got 14 goods on board. Just 14 goods. What's the um, payment rates for goods? Let's have a look. So if we disable all and compare it to our general passengers as a kind of a benchmark. Coal, which we're doing, and then goods. Ooh, look. Goods is just above coal until 90 days in transit for a distance of 20 squares. So as long as we keep going... At least 20 squares every 90 days, we're going to earn more money than if we were transporting coal. Now, we've got enough money to have another goods truck, so we'll get that in. That's it, without taking a loan. So that's two goods trucks on the go now. Nearly got enough money for three. Ratings over here should be going up. 44%, not the best, to be honest. Not the best. Um, and that truck has broken down. It's at 53% reliability already. Um, might force it to service. Like before it gets to Leicester. Go into market deep in... Yeah, service there. So if I skip the orders... Oh, it won't... It won't let me skip... To service at the road depot. How bizarre. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, we've got enough money for another one now. Oh, oh, the, the, the um, goods are coming out in different colours. We've got blue goods last time. Where the green, we've got green goods here. So I don't know what would be in the green goods. Maybe it's camouflage gear. Blue goods. Telsa coils. I, don't, I have no idea. And another green one. Right. So that is today's episode. We have now started the whole Beach Factory Challenge and our company is making relatively good money. This is what we needed to, for the beginning. Um, one of the things I really want to do is get down to Exeter as soon as I have a reliable passenger service uh, viable. But trains, I think it might be next time. I would love to start getting some of this mainline stuff sorted out. Get Peterborough hooked up to London, maybe. That sounds a Peterborough to London service. Sounds like a really good idea to me. I can't remember how many road vehicles I've got now going to Leicester. Let's have a look. Leicester. Road vehicles. Three. Okay. So I need another two to make it five because at the minute I'm doing everything in fives. So there's four. And you know what? Just because I'm impatient, we'll borrow some money. Get the clone. And there we go. There's, there's the five. And we we can repay, actually. <laughs> In the amount of time it took me to click all that, we got enough money for it. Uh, so the first road vehicle is just going past Oakham. I think it's 33. There it is. So what I want you to do for next time is tell me how much income road vehicle 33 is going to get. That's income. It's going all that way, and it's breaking down quite a lot. It's at 39% reliability now. Um... So, uh, 14 crates of goods it's carrying. Put it down in the comments. Put your prediction down in the comments, along with any other thoughts, ideas, or questions. Now, if you want to play along, all the instructions about how to play along in this series are at the beginning of the first episode of the series, and a playlist will be coming soon. I will be replying to all of your comments as soon as I can over the next few days. Thanks for watching. Thanks for taking part for those of you who are, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. And that's all from me for now. Take care, and goodbye. Hello, thanks for watching. If you'd like to support me doing videos like this, then you can head out to masterhelich.net or click the link in the description to look at my Viewer Plus program. It's kind of like Patreon, but there's no middleman. You get to support me in return, you get a number of benefits. So please check it out. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.